Hi guys, and welcome to my lazy training guide for Bishop. Um, I'm primarily just going to be going through some maps that really work well for this class and focus on minimal key inputs. I personally believe that grinding should be as lazy as you can possibly make it. And so we're going to be going through some popular maps from 220 all the way up to 280 that you can grind in just to make that process a little nicer. Now I do want to say this guide will be very specific to bishops. I don't believe these rotations will work to all other classes since it does depend on you having teleport as well as balancing two summons with decent uptime. Um, anything beyond that might get more involved, but if you're playing something else and can get some inspiration from this, that is all for the better. Now that said, bishop players, you do need to be reasonably strong to make a lot of these work. Uh, your feathers should be one-shotting wherever you're training just to make sure you can clear up stragglers without too much hassle. So, if you need to compensate in any ways, what I would recommend is making sure you have your infinity uptime as close to 100% as possible, and that'll help drastically lower the amount of funding you need to be able to one-shot in a lot of these maps. I will not be covering level 200 to 220 in this guide, because really those levels just blow by super quickly at this point. Um, just stick to popular maps there, below the cave, anything in reverse city, slurpy forest depths, hidden Iliard field, all of those will be more than enough to take you to 220. With that said, let's jump right into the guide. Okay, so to start us off, we're gonna be in Wachlan, and we're gonna be training at Occupy Dance Floor 2. This map's been pretty beaten to death already, but it still is just as good for Bishop. Uh, all you need to do here is place your Fountain of Vengeance on the bottom left, air to Fountain on the top, and then all you need to do is focus on clearing this right side. Now, Initially when you come in, a lot of the mobs might be in the corner, but when they respawn, they're all going to stick to this area. So after you get past that initial wave, it'll just be a matter of big bang on the bottom, one more time up top, and you can also mix in some divine punishments or full map attacks just to make it a little more cozy. Moving along into Arcana, we have some pretty good maps here. Um, if you aren't strong enough for the deeper ones yet, I would recommend you try some of these early ones. Uh, most of the forest maps are pretty solid. But once you are strong enough to train these deeper maps, I would recommend the deepest part of the Cavern Lower Path. Uh, this map is really nice for lazy training, especially for Bishop. Uh, I love this map because you don't have to do any moving at all. You can just stand still and press Big Bang occasionally. You're going to press Fountain of Vengeance here. Teleport over, or you can also jump down and just end up over here. And place your Air to Fountain on the left. And then all you have to do is stand here in the middle, and then just cast Big Bang. Now, in the spirit of this video, I will not be covering any maps in Moras. There are some wonderful maps here that you should definitely not be sleeping on, but they are not that lazy and will require you to be more actively rotating than that. So, um, but if you do train here, I would strongly recommend Shadow Dance Hall 2. This map has a lot of spawns and will get net you some pretty good rates for just a little more effort. All right, on to Esfera. Uh, if you're training here, I would recommend trying Mirror Touch C6. This map isn't too popular, so you usually get some good burning here, and it's pretty easy for Bishop to rotate. On this right side, you're gonna wanna put all of your summons. So we're gonna put Fountain of Vengeance there and Air to Fountain up top. And then we're just gonna focus on clearing this left side. So all we need to do here is Big Bang the bottom, Big Bang the top, and then clear the stragglers with Divine Punishment. So once you hit 245, this may come as a bit of a surprise, but I do think Last Horizon 4 does edge out Void Current 3, at least as a lazy map um, for Bishop. This map I do get better kill rates in, and so you also have the benefit of only having one mob, so familiars will be a little easier to farm. 
The rotation here is going to be, you're going to place your Fountain of Vengeance on the right, jump down and place your Air to Fountain. And then really we're going to be focusing on clearing this left side. So what you can do here, um, Big Bang on the bottom, middle, and then also do a Divine Punishment to clear those stragglers on the left, and then one more Big Bang up top. So it's a little involved, but you're not moving arrow keys, and really you're just going to be going up and down on along the side and clearing whatever's left here. And then your summons should be taking care of the right entirely. When you reach 250, you can start training in the Labyrinth of Pain. There's not too many great maps here. A lot of their shapes don't really lend well to easy rotations. Uh, the nicest that I was able to find was uh, Labyrinth of Suffering Cora 2. What you're going to want to do here is place your Fountain of Vengeance on the bottom left. Do your Air to Fountain on the top left. And then you can just focus on this right side of the map. So what I think looks best here is like the Big Bang on the bottom, teleport up and then clean up that top platform if you need to with a Divine Punishment. Now, once you get to 255 and you have access to Lamina, uh, keep in mind that these maps do start getting pretty popular. You're going to run into a lot of full maps, especially in 1.4 and 2.5. 1.5 is usually not super full, so you'll be able to find a channel unless it's like peak hours or peak times, like with some events coming up. So just keep that in mind. Um, but there's so many maps here that can make Bishop work, so if you can't find one of these, just experiment with some others. But uh, personally, this was one of my favorite maps here. What you're going to do is place your Fountain of Vengeance on this right side, and this will clear all four platforms on its own. And then on the left side here, you're going to place your Air to Fountain, and that'll clear the left corner. And then all you need to do here is just stand in the middle and cast Big Bang. No need to move, you can just stand here one button at a time, and it's very chill. Alright, well congrats on 260 and welcome to Cernium. These maps onwards are still just as easy for Bishop to train in. It is very nice. Um, though, make sure now that we do have these new symbols at hand that you are still strong enough to be one-shotting. Now, if that means waiting a while and staying in Lamina until you have enough Sacred Force to train here, that's perfectly fine. And do keep in mind when you start training here, you're not going to get familiars or droplets anymore, so I do know a lot of people would prefer to stay in Lumina a while, until they at least get some boss familiars under their belt. That said, you do get a lot more XP training here, so once you are ready to, just get on that. So, uh, the map that I would very strongly recommend is Royal Library Section 4. What you're going to do here is place your Fountain of Vengeance in the middle, go on these right set of platforms and place your Air to Fountain. And then we're going to go on the left here. Now, I've seen this a few ways. If you have a cooldown reduction hat, you can just use Peacemaker. Um, but if you don't, that's totally fine. Um, what I'd recommend is just Big Bang, teleport up Big Bang, or you can also just jump cast it. And then just use your FMAs on rotation, and even then you probably won't even need to use Big Bang anymore. Alright, so once you have enough Sacred Force for Burnium, I would very strongly recommend you try out Eastern City Ramparts in Battle 2. This map is wonderful for Bishop. <laughs> very easy, very lazy. All you need to do here is place Fountain of Vengeance on the top left, Air to Fountain on the bottom left, 
and then we're gonna go over to these four right platforms and all you need to do is teleport up and down on these and just cast Big Bang and that should be full clearing the map Now, once you get to Arcus, this is probably going to be the most chill leveling you'll have, 270 onwards, um, up until you can train an Odium. This map right here, Nostalgic Drive in Theater 1, is so easy for Bishop to rotate in, it's disgusting. All you have to do here is place Fountain of Vengeance on this bottom left platform, air to Fountain at this top left, and you're just going to stand here, cast Big Bang, and Divine Punishment over and over again. It does miss a few mobs, but we're going for lazy here, so you literally do not have to move. This is all you'll have to do, and just replace your summons every minute. Alright, so that should about cover it for this guide. Uh, that should take you all the way until 275, 280, or whenever you can start training in Odium. I have not gotten to try maps here yet because I do not have enough Sacred Force, so I will have to come back with a later video here. If you have any other suggestions for maps I should try out, or other video ideas, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching!